Okay, so this is the reverse hyper. It's a pretty awesome contraption. Uh, this one's from Rogue. There's a couple of different models out there. Now, I know not a lot of people will have access to this, which is not great, but maybe some gyms might have it and you just maybe didn't notice. But basically, this is a really good thing for runners. Um, the basic idea is that this little can lever here will pull through to really help teach activation of the low back muscles and glute muscles. But the way it swings kind of through, it really helps to decompress the disc as well. So basically, if we're looking at the low back, so our spine is designed to have three subtle curves, right? And it's basically designed that way so that when we run and we land, the spine absorbs a little bit of shock and recoils off. So basically, think of like a spring. So when we land between gravity and ground reaction forces, we gain a little bit of stress and then we recoil off with a little bit of stress. So a lot of people, low back, everybody should have a nice subtle forward curve in the low back. But a lot of people will have either a straight back or have an excessive curve or a shallow curve, but basically some imbalance that'll create pain within the back, maybe through the disc, but at least through the facet joints. So this little device here, the spine is right in this position. And what it does is when the cantilever swings through, which we'll show you in a second, it basically massages and decompresses the disc. So this is the maneuver of what it's doing. This is what it looks like when you're standing. So basically when you're running, this device teaches the compression and relaxation of the disc within the back to really massage and nourish it. Because the really funny thing about the way the back is designed, the disc which separates each vertebra gets no blood flow, like zero. The only way it gets nutrients is by pumping. So I have to compress it and relax it. Compress it and relax it. So that's why running is actually really therapeutic for the back. This device helps to really encourage that extra little motion to really help nourish the disc. So I'll show you how to do it now. It's super easy, um, but again, you can't miss it once you've noticed it in a gym or whatever. And, and again, like I said, not a lot of people have access to this, but if you do, you should definitely use it if you are a runner. And again, to help create good body carriage and extension of the hips and help the disc as well. So you're gonna go through the strap just like this and you're going to hike yourself up onto the platform and grab onto the handles just like that now i'm going to contract my glutes and my low back to kind of swing through just like that now another little caveat to help really make this a better exercise is the little trick here is you can get better motion in, in like work of the disc if you contract right through here. So basically, as I'm jumping onto the platform, I will breathe into my lower abdomen to really decompress the disc so that I can motion it more. So if we're looking at the spine and I breathe into my lower abdomen, I extend the spine a little bit and now I can motion more I can take quite a bit more pressure off the nerves. So it's really therapeutic. So if you have access to it and you hop up on the platform, right when you hop up, make sure to contract right through there to stabilize the low back. So really awesome maneuver. This is a great exercise to do. You can go pretty heavy with the weight and it, it teaches great low back and hip coordination. So it's awesome exercise.